What's up squash players? Today I have a review of the Head Nano Titanium Squash Racket. This is on my list of the best squash rackets for beginners uh, on account of several factors. And I'm gonna tell you about those and then tell you what this was like on court. I've been playing with it for a few weeks and I got some feedback. So I like this racket on paper for a number of reasons. One is a forgiving large head size. This is um, got a, a large sweet spot. It's easy if you, um, you know, you're not middling the ball as if you're a beginner, you're still trying to work out how to hit the sweet spot on a consistent basis. This frame gives you a large area to hit into. I personally like the fan stringing pattern to get a little bit extra power. So this racket um, is going to um, give you that extra power because of that fan stringing pattern. I like that just as a way to, as you're getting started, make sure you can get some, um, some zip on the ball. This racket costs only $80 in the US and it's also available in the UK and in other uh, markets around the world. It's part of the reason is that it's just been around for a while. It's not the kind of latest and greatest thing that the um, head pros are playing with, but it's still a good racket. It's still got a common frame shape. You see a lot of rackets with this same, you know, basic, uh, same basic shape, including uh, you know, even the one that say Paul Cole plays with is pretty close to this. Actually, let me grab it and I'll put, it, I'll put them side by side. Here we go. In front we've got the, uh, this is actually the, the prior model of the one that uh, Cole plays with. This is the Head Speed 120 Slim Body, the black one that's in front. And you can, they're not exactly the same mold, but you can see they're roughly the same, same idea. Uh, the Slim Body, the one in black is um, has a bit of a thinner, thinner beam, tiny bit, but really, you know, with this, with this head nano T or the like nano TI or nano titanium racket, you're getting, you know, you're getting a proven, you're getting a proven shape. The only real, um, downside of this is it's just not got the latest and greatest, uh, a marketing, uh, for example, it did come with a head cover, which is nice. Like here's the here's the cover card for this. Uh, here we've got um, Iskandar, Adrian Grant, and uh, Darwish. You know, <laughs> which those are guys who were just uh, starting to retire when I started Squash Source like 10 years ago. So you know, the the they're not the um, the latest and greatest num world number one heroes, but and uh, none of them in this photo are actually using this racket. <laughs> but it's still a good frame. Don't worry about the fact that it is a little bit um, on the older side. Rackets, squash rackets haven't changed all that much. It's at a good price and, um, and it'll get you far. So some other things to tell you about this. The factory strings are not that great. Uh, they just, they're kind of dead feeling and I didn't love them, but honestly, I still played in a league match with this in a competitive match and felt totally fine and happy. Uh, using it. I would probably myself restring it, but if you're a beginner, just get out there. And I mean, honestly, if you're a beginner, any racket that gets you playing squash is a good racket. So don't worry too much about it. Uh, but if you want like a, my choice, I would recommend, um, I'm recommending this one as one of my top ones. The frame is a little bit kind of chunky in, in parts, um, but it's really not an issue at all on a court or swinging it. Like I said, I played with it and thought it was perfectly fine. Great, actually. I was able to use it in um, in a lot of different matches with no issues. The grip is unusual. It's very rectangular. Um, like, you can feel the flatness of the size. Uh, it's quite pronounced and more so than um, more so than some other rackets and not necessarily in a bad way because I could actually feel uh, where my thumb was and understand very clearly where um, you know the, the angles of, of the racket just based on um, on the sort of easy to feel it, it was just easy to feel with the grip which way the racket was oriented obviously if you're brand new to squash, you know, that's not going to be a real, a real plus for you as you're um, still trying to work out kind of the, 
the mechanics of the swing and all that. But just for me, I, I thought that was an interesting feature of this. And I'm gonna measure the grip now since I often forget to do that. But people like to know. People wanna know. So this baby is uh, 10 centimeters around. I think that's on the smaller side uh, as a total grip circumference. The grommet holes, it's gonna be a little hard to see in the video, but they're quite large. And I, th I didn't really notice that until after hitting with it, uh, before while I was preparing to do this review. I think it just ma makes the racket feel like there's not a whole lot of vibration because uh, the string isn't touching the grommets in, in, the, the middle part of the, um, in the middle part of the racket. It's very tight, but I still liked it. Uh, so that's just neither here nor there, just sort of a, um, an observation on these large, this is the power fan, perhaps, stringing uh, concept. That was something in their marketing for this, for this racket. I did hear some comments, because uh, I did a little research on what other people thought of this at PDH Sports. Paul from PDH Sports had this on his list of uh, good beginner, uh, recommended beginner rackets from a while ago. So that was a positive recommendation. Some people um, on Reddit thought that maybe this uh, weight, the weight of this racket was a little too low. It's a, it's a 110 gram um, advertised weight, all in on my scale, 149 grams. It's, it's, a, it's a fairly light racket. The balance point is 37 centimeters, so a little bit head uh, heavy. So. I understand what people are saying with that. I think that there is some validity to maybe a little heavier racket. It just helps you move it more slowly and methodically through the air, whereas a light racket may encourage you to kind of, uh, you know, cheat as it were, use your wrist or something that is going to um, not provide kind of an optimal swing where you're you're taking it back and you're using you know using the racket all the way through the shot like that's how you're going to really generate a clean strike on the ball is to take a full swing and so so I guess um, you know there could be some validity to that if you are using this you know don't get into the habit of just just because it's light you know trying to flick the ball um, although being light it is handy if you get uh, are under pressure and you need to flick the ball and also I'll say that the 37 centimeter balance point the head heavy balance point it kind of negates some of that lightness um, because it's a little bit head heavy the the leading edge of the frame is going to kind of uh, follow through the shot so a, a racket that's heavier but head lighter uh, may actually be you know worse because it would feel like un unmoored I guess you could say whereas having the head heaviness of this racket uh, helps guide your helps guide your shot so that's all I want to say about this um, I think this is like I said a great frame for beginners affordably priced and still got good cosmetics in my opinion and um, and just a good, like good overall, um, good overall deal, a good bang for the buck. This is called the Head Nano Ti or Titanium uh, Squash Racket or One Ten. It's the Head. What what do they call it? Head Nano Ti One Ten is what most of the the marketing is, um, says. But if you really want it, it's a full proper name. It's the Head Nano Titanium 110. There you go. Hope that was helpful. I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe if you want to see more reviews. 